Now, this practice has prevented damaging weather such as hail and hurricanes, prevented storms and increased water supply for communities in need. The UAE Research Programme for Rain Enhancement Science has been designed to improve water security in both arid and semi-arid areas around the world. We went to find out more about this important work. The UAE Research Programme for Enhancement Science is an international research initiative designed to stimulate and promote uh, the scientific advancement and uh, development uh, in the technologies of rain enhancement field. This programme is managed by uh, the National Centre of Meteorology uh, as part of its mission to the research of weather modification and as part of its uh, efforts uh, to contribute toward the water security issue. I'm Ali al uh, from the National Center of Meteorology, uh, the director of the UAE Research Program for Enhancement Science. The achievements made uh, by the National Center of Meteorology uh, through the UAE Research Program for Enhancement Science uh, build a strong and a solid foundation uh, for future research in rain enhancement science. Definitely will lead to the advancement of this field uh, alongside uh, with employing uh, the latest technologies uh, that we have right now, such as uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning. The program now is aiming to, uh, to share the knowledge and to have the benefits um, and, and to share the benefits of this knowledge and uh, to this science to um, all over the world, to, to all of the countries, specifically arid uh, regions where they suffer from uh, the fresh water uh, supply. Expo is a very great opportunity to have different uh, categories of uh, you know, audience and different uh, stakeholders in one place. For us, it's very important to showcase all of uh, the awardees work and all of the research outcomes uh, so far uh, out of the program and even the latest technologies in the world. Uh, we will be showing case there all about cloud seeding, rain enhancement activities done by the National Center of Meteorology, covering different aspects starting from operations uh, and the materials used uh, during the operations and uh, manufacturing these materials uh, by, um, um, by the UAE and even covering another aspect of research and the outcomes of this and how would this uh, push the future uh, research in this field more. Now joining us in the studio is an expert in the field of meteorology, rain enhancement and weather modification. Alia al Mazrui is the director of the UAE Research Programme for Rain Enhancement Science. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. So we saw a little bit about the incredible kind of work that you have been doing in our report <coughs> just then, but I want to break it down for our viewers today. Tell me about some of the projects you've been involved with. What exactly is rain enhancement? Okay, uh, so uh, rain enhancement uh, generally is um, one of the weather modifications, uh, uh, weather modification activities. It's done for here in the country, we do this to enhance the rainfall amount only. No creation of clouds, um, as sometimes they say, but it's only enhancing the amount of rainfall. Uh, due to the studies, it, it, um, uh, it differs from, like, from starting from 10% to 25% depending on the, on the atmosphere, whether it's a clean or turbid atmosphere. So this is the, the percentage of the enhancement uh, with the rain enhancement. And um, it's done here in the country through cloud seeding operations, regular cloud seeding operations using aircrafts and generators. Uh, we use natural soils, uh, hygroscopic uh, materials and fl or flares. Uh, um, and this is only to enhance, uh, to, to boost maybe the, the, the amount of rainfall. Let's talk a little bit about how cloud seeding works. In my understanding, when there's a certain amount of, uh, I think, cumulative cloud up there, a plane goes up into the air and it essentially shoots salt 
into the cloud. Would you say that's fairly accurate? Or yeah, this is to, to boost, or maybe to, to um, ju just to have the to, to boost the what you know the water droplet and to have it to enlarge the size of it. Um, putting to considerations that there are the updrafts there, and of course there is a team from NCM, from National Center of Meteorology, um, before that uh, preparing for that, like with forecast. Uh, and making sure that there are amenable clouds, uh, amenable clouds to uh, to have this operation then. Uh, so this is generally going yeah. into uh, going into the science, science technically maybe <laughs> will. It's uh, very very sure. deep. So how do you okay getting to basics? Um, how do you decide when it is the right time to see the clouds? Yeah, how due to work? the forecast uh, from the National Center of Meteorology uh, for the last three days. So uh, here's the decision coming. And of course, uh, there's um, the cloud seeding operations is on 24/7, according to the conditions. And whenever they find that it's um, uh, it's, it's a good condition to go for seeding, they they start doing this. Of course, from Alain International Airport, we have our uh, our hangar uh, with our aircrafts uh, for uh, for the, for the National Center of Meteorology, our own pilots. So the whole team is uh, under the center. Uh, and the, c the critical thing here is the time that they have to make sure that they have um, a specific time to work on because they have to work on, on um, you know, um, there is a margin there where they have to make sure that the, uh, about the updrafts and, and these technical stuff to make sure. So the, the most critical thing here is the time in the class. It's really it's a small window, isn't it? I know that we may be looking at drones as well. Uh, let's talk about the rain enhancement program as a whole. Now, we know this is important because more than a third of the global population faces chronic water shortages every day. Now, will improving our own rain enhancement program, is that going to be able to decrease our reliance on desal? We know desal, you know, it creates a huge amount of energy to produce it. And, you know, obviously the salt is being injected back into the water. Do you see a big reduction in desal going forward? Um, given the importance of the, of the water, of course, and, you know, with a lot of pressure nowadays, you know, with the population growth and uh, the low recharge of the uh, uh, underground water, um, the rain enhancement here is, is considered as a viable and a cost-effective mean to to uh, provide fresh water through rain of course and and putting the um, th th the support uh, on on investing on rain enhancement we can see our cloud seeding here the uae is playing a, 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 um, a very important role in this a leading role and uh, a creative role in uh, in making sure that this all, uh, you know, that the outcomes at the end tackles the water scarcity issue, and we come out with solutions that that really uh, later on we can say it's a sustainable uh, solutions and innovative solutions uh, to make sure that it's you know within the multi efforts of the country with the desalination and, and, and others. It, it all works to to provide this fresh water. So it is it is a viable mean here that can support a lot and can contribute to the water security issue, mm -hmm. uh, water security. Uh, well, since uh, 1900, worldwide. we've got facts and figures that some 11 billion people have lost their lives due to droughts, and uh, this is a very important subject. Ali, for the moment, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you. Thank you so much.